Hey there. I want to take a moment to introduce as to what we are going to learn as part of this device drivers 101 course. And this is, well, the Linux device drivers. This is supposed to be a D. Yeah. So Linux device drivers, what are we going to take a look at? Uh, first off, who this course is for? Um, students, early professionals. And, um, you know, anyone who is uh, kind of looking forward to switch to uh, device driver development, right? So this course is intentionally made for such folks. And we will only be covering the basics that you need to write a device driver, right? So absolute basics. And we'll also introduce like, you know, what Linux kernel is, uh, you know, what device driver means, how it is useful, so on and so forth. Now, in terms of the tangible thing that you'll be, uh, you know, introduced to, um, or you'll end up kind of authoring, would be, you know, these three files, and about like, you know, the four to five lines of code here, five lines of code here and maybe ballpark 60 to 100, uh, 100 uh, lines of code in the C file. Now the C file will be the actual driver code and the make file would be used to kind of, you know, compile that. And the Python file would be uh, an application, right? So this is the device it's driver, this is the app. So what's the relation between app and, you know, the device driver? So we have the Linux kernel which kind of has many device drivers within it and one of them would be ours right and this is what we will author but um, the user applications run at lower privilege and that is where the python file uh, will be executed so the python file will serve as a user application and what will happen is it will request the driver for some uh, you know information and the driver will essentially pass back that information right and in this kind of a mini project like way we'll end up learning uh, you know what device drivers are and uh, how to write those and you know understand like the background and the mental models in terms of how the linux kernel works how the driver has to work and how to add functionality right so this being the case let me just go ahead and quickly show you a demo of what uh, you know, uh, things will look like. Uh, let me go ahead and, you know, increase. Uh, very nice. So what you see on the screen here is, um, um, let me just, yeah. So this here is uh, essentially the, the code. And um, the code to what? This is the user application. This is the make file, which is like seven lines of code or something. And then there's this device driver, which is about, uh, well, 60 lines of code, right? So then let's go ahead and take a look at this Python file here, the user application. Uh, it simply kind of, you know, opens a file, reads a file, you know, reads some message, some reads like a line out of it and closes the file. So three simple operations let me go ahead and do make this is like building the device driver and then let me do sudo ins mod uh you know uh sudo ins mod uh, dot ko and then let me go ahead and uh, kind of execute the app and the app is user space app and so what you'll notice here is it's simply going to count the number of times, uh, you know, the, the call to the driver was made or the driver was activated essentially, right? So let's then go ahead and execute this couple of more times, a uh, couple times. And what you see here is with every, you know, call or execution, this number is increasing. So this somewhere is that mini project or, you know, project-based approach wherein we'll go ahead, write a device driver, and then write a user app to interact with the device driver. And along the way, we'll learn how to write a device driver, what are the basics, how to inject it into the kernel, how the kernel absorbs it, how the interactions go, uh, and all of that good stuff. At the end of this course, 
uh, our hope is that you'll be enabled to understand the language of Linux device drivers, the vocabulary associated with it. Uh, to some degree, of course, it's like a vast subject, but you will be able to make sense of what device driver related jobs are, what they require and how to self navigate in the future. So with uh, all of this, if this, you know, excites you, I'll see you on the other side.